What is developmental trauma? Parents and other adults who act as parent substitutes, such as teachers, grandparents, or child care providers, are expected to protect children in their care. They create rules and boundaries to keep children safe and secure while caring for them. But if that child experiences neglect, abandonment, or abuse from a trusted caregiver, then they feel betrayed and learn not to trust. Betrayal is a specific kind of discomfort that we feel when we have two contradictory experiences at the same time, such as the person that I trust to protect me has hurt me. If you were a very small child and your mother was angry and yelling at you, her facial expressions and body language would send a signal to the old or reptilian part of your brain that you're unsafe and that you should run away from her. At the same time, the limbic or feeling part of the brain sends a signal that you should get to your safe place, which happens to be your mother. The stress of these and other betrayals causes children to close their hearts. When babies feel unsafe, they're obviously not able to physically run away. Instead, they run away inside, get very silent, and fall asleep. Contradictory signals confuse the brain and cause it to freeze. This freeze reaction first becomes visible in the face of an infant or child. Their eyes begin to bulge, their facial expression becomes blank, and they go silent. This reaction is known as shock. If an adult doesn't comfort a child during a shock reaction, the child's nervous system registers this experience as trauma. If, on the other hand, a trusted adult does notice and comforts the child, then the child simply experiences an owie and not a trauma. A repeated pattern of abuse or neglect from trusted caregivers in early childhood is known as developmental trauma. When children who've experienced developmental trauma grow into adults, the trauma can manifest itself in a number of ways and is known to be a major cause of depression, anxiety, personality problems, and health issues, among other things. Recognizing and understanding developmental trauma can dramatically change the way we think about other people and even ourselves. While it's of vital importance that people in the fields of mental health understand the causes and effects of developmental trauma, it's also obvious that anyone who interfaces with the public, be they teachers, prison guards, clergy, bus drivers, whatever, would be able to deliver their services in a more compassionate and caring way if equipped with an understanding of developmental trauma. As Drs. Barry and Janae Weinhold point out in their book, Developmental Trauma, this paradigm shift in the trauma-informed perspective is truly a game changer. For more information about trauma and its effects and how to heal trauma, please visit traumainformedcaretraining.com.